watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Hello, Herricks. I hope you've settled into the new school year because it's Friday, and that means it's a great day for our very first Highlander Sports Highlights of 2022-23. I'm Mike O'Grady. It's good to be back, and let's jump right into the show, starting with girls' soccer. A lot of familiar faces return for the girls on the pitch as they'll try and build off their ridiculous 13-1 record from last season. Their schedule kicks off with a nice three-game set right here down the hill, the first one being against Schreiber on Wednesday, the second this afternoon at 5 versus Syosset, and the last next Wednesday when Oceanside visits. Be sure to come down and show the girls some support, and also keep an eye out for their two games against Massapequa later in the season when they'll try and avenge last year's playoff loss. Last year may have been a lost season for boys soccer, but with the new fall comes a new dawn for these Highlanders. Complete with several fresh new players, they took on Baldwin to start their season off yesterday, and tomorrow they'll hop on the bus to Syosset for a match with the Braves. Catch them next Tuesday when they take on Farmingdale on the turf. Girls Volleyball returns this time around with a more favorable schedule than the gauntlet they played through last season, though they picked up some wins along the way. Miss Krinsky's squad served their season off yesterday with a game at Island Trees, and you can see them this coming Monday when they host Farmingdale in the gym. Also on the menu for next week is a visit to the Rams and West Hempstead on Wednesday. It's going to be hard to top the undefeated conference champion boys volleyball had on the court last year, but with a better conference comes a better challenge and more exciting times ahead. They begin their season with three straight on the road, the first of which was Wednesday in Hicksville, the next one later today at East Meadow, and the third Monday in Floral Park. Make sure to be there at their first home game next Wednesday when they host Great Neck South. Last, but definitely not least, are the Sultans of Saturday's Highlander football. As with every year, the team lost a ton of important players to college, but this year's group has been grinding since the spring with a win tomorrow at Sawanica as the only thing on their minds. This is an important season for the Highlanders. If the coming weeks break right, homecoming in late October could have huge playoff implications, but one of the upcoming games is against a football buzzsaw in Garden City. It's going to be very exciting to watch how this team plays this year, so don't miss it. So, to wrap things up, that ends your weekly Highlander Sports highlights from here in the TV studio. I'm Michael Grady, and I wish the best of luck to all our teams and athletes in the coming week. And remember, Herricks, I'll be right back here next Friday with another sports update. Until then, this is Highlander Country. Thank you for watching HTN Sports.